Hey everyone, it's 07 here with another diecast review. And this might be my final diecast review of 2023. Uh, all that subject to change. So anyways, uh, this is the last one. Ouch, I hit my finger on the table. This is the last one from my uh, recent diecast haul. So today we're going to be reviewing Kevin Harvick's 2001 Atlanta win. His first career win in the NASCAR Cup Series. Uh... This race was best known for him edging out Jeff Gordon. And also, uh, if you don't know when Harvick made his first start, it was actually in the uh, Rockingham race following the 2001 Daytona 500. So you probably know why Harvick was thrusted into the Cup Series uh, at a young age. Uh, you probably already know the story, but uh, it has a, a tragic backstory. So anyways, we're going to open the box here, get this die cast out of the box. Also, if you didn't know, Harvick, uh, Kevin Harvick uh, has retired from the NASCAR Cup Series following this year's NASCAR 2023 season. Uh, he'll be in the broadcast booth for Fox Sports. So anyways, let's get to the die cast review, starting with the car rolling on screen. Uh, did it towards the wall. Let's try that again. Look how fast that car goes. So anyways, uh, here is the car itself. An interesting fact, the car that was actually run was actually Dale Earnhardt's uh, Atlanta win from 2000 when he edged out Bobby Labonte. It was the same car uh, that Harvard drove. Uh, the same, I guess the same body and chassis. I don't know. So we're going to get into the review starting with the hood of the car. Now I'm at the front of the car, excuse me. We have the Monte Carlo logo as well as some dirt particle and stuff we have the uh rcr logo on the uh left left uh uh head headlight and then the right one i'm doing it the other way around because it's technically like this uh in the right one we have the kevin harvick no, uh, number 29 on this uh one go to the union 76 logo right here uh this one little thing i can't pronounce right uh simpson Ellibrock, and Plasty something. Uh, can't read that. There's too many dirt particles. Uh, these dirt particles are printed onto the car. This is our race version. So anyways, uh, same as on this side as well. And that, that would be uh, contained CD decals. So we go to the passenger side of the car. We have the NASCAR Cup Series logo. Not the Winston Cup Series logo because they can't add cigarette companies on uh, small die cast for legal reasons. As well as alcohol companies. So anyways, uh, Union 76, EA Sports, Bowman, Comp, Automir, uh, uh, that big M there, 3M, uh, True Value, Holly, uh, some other logo right here, never seen it before. We have the Goodyear logo right here as well, and then uh, number 29, Kevin Harvick's name rail, Good Rent Service Plus, the Sonic logo, Safety Clean, Snap-on, Oreo, and Purdue, as well as the tiny GM logo right there. And AC Delco and Real Team Realtree, as well as Coca-Cola, Hershey's, Bass Pro Shops, and there's something else I can't read because it's tiny. So we're going to go to the back of the car. We have the Chevy logo, GM Good Rent Service Plus, as well as the website at the time. We have America Online, which is AOL. Number 29, and then the rookie stripes right here, as well as the rear spoiler art. And the driver's side is the same as the passenger side. No, there's not an uh, American ethanol ring right here. Uh, just to clarify. So, and also, uh, except except for the driver, driver's drive, same as the passenger side, except for some tiny details with the uh, dirt and stuff. So I'm going to go to the... Uh, uh, hood of the car, we have the Chevy logo, GM Good Red Service Plus, as well as some details right here for the hood, and some windshield art. Uh, go to the roof of the car, we have the number 29, as well as some tiny little dots for the detailing, uh, roof, roof laps. The rear window uh, art, as well as the GM Performance Parts logo on the deck lid. And then the bottom of the car has the usual copyright stuff. 2001 Monte Carlo used under license. So, a nice little die cast to commemorate the 
Kevin Harvick's first uh, career NASCAR Cup Series win. So, that'll cap off this diecast review. 2023 has been a monumental gear for CR7, gaining hundreds of subscribers and views from my uh, new series NASCAR Diecast Shenanigans, which gained unprecedented success. I thought it wouldn't do well, but I was blown away by the views. And I want to say thank you for the continued support, and let's make 2024 an even more monumental year for this channel. See if we can uh, reach more milestones, as well as hitting more subscribers uh, and all that. So I want to thank you for making 2023 a banner year for CR7. So anyways, that'll do it for this diecast review. Subscribe for more diecast reviews, uh, skits, and other things NASCAR related. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.